So, Christmas came a little early. Soul performance valve exhaust just came in. Do a quick unboxing then i'm going to take you through a complete overview of this system so you can understand all the parts and pieces and then of course we're going to do install we're going to do before and after so soup to nuts covering this whole thing so um, instructions from soul these are going to be important for me because i'm doing a self install obviously you can get this installed somewhere locally for my purposes and for the purpose of this video i want to install it myself just so in case you guys are thinking about it you have a guide but <clears throat> already a good sign uh, in that obviously someone has checked all of the items in here. This seems like an easy step, but so many companies don't even do this. And then you are under the car and you realize you're missing these M8 nuts or something, which is insanely frustrating. So kudos on that. Also, you know, just nice touch. Obviously you're dealing with a company that cares when they are individually signing, who checked valve operations, who packed it, etc. So Instructions look pretty good. They are detailed. They have color photos, close-ups, so should make install pretty straightforward. I appreciate that being in there, of course. We've also got a little bit of swag in here, which is great. Let's see what else we got. So we'll pull these out. So this is one item I'm super excited about. So on these tips, I did order new tips. You can keep the factory tips from your original exhaust, but I wanted new tips. They're a little beefier. They're also sized differently. So Soul has a modification if you wanna keep your existing factory tips to widen these openings, but I decided to make it easy, get new tips. But the other reason is because I really wanted to get these um, black uh, satin tips done. So Soul offers uh, from sort of the factory, so to speak, chrome, black chrome, and carbon. But I reached out to the guys and asked if they could do these in a black satin to match my build, just because I don't really have any chrome on the car or anything shiny like carbon and they did an awesome job. So they sent these out, as far as I understand, I had them custom done. So I really appreciate that. Other set of tips. Uh, the other tips were wrapped, just FYI. I had taken them off prior to this video. Oh yeah. So you can tell just by looking at this stuff, the amount of care and effort that <clears throat> goes into finishing at Soul. Um, they actually have a very cool video on their website about their weld. Again, these are kind of details, but they have a very unique um, sort of video that really walks you through different weld, weld types and why theirs, you know, are definitely far superior in terms of the care and effort. Pull this off and here is the main event. So this is our valved center section. Let's spin this around for you guys. And the craftsmanship on this thing is just nuts. So you can tell this team really takes a lot of pride in what they do. Love this little bridge here. It's a very cool way to integrate the logo. Um, but these things are just finished so nicely. The fit and finish on this is just spectacular. Couldn't be more excited to get this thing installed. Some miscellaneous parts down here. So these are all just various connections for the install. And that's it. So well packed, obviously a lot of care taken in, you know, instructions, you know, the swag, the custom tips, you know, all the finishing and parts here. But uh, yeah, just super excited to get this thing on. So stay tuned. I'll do an overview of this, talk about every part. I'm going to talk about all the different uh, things you're going to need to install it. And we'll do the install, we'll do a before and after, take you through the whole thing, so. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna do a quick tabletop overview of the Soul exhaust. This thing is just freaking beautiful. So we got it out of the box, I've got it all laid out. I'm gonna take you through each part and piece, let you know kind of what everything is before we jump into our next video, which will be on how to install this DIY. So the big piece you see here, star of the show, this is the X-pipe section. So this section is basically what replaces the center section on the stock OEM exhaust. As you can see from just from a size perspective, this is quite a bit less metal and material than what's on the um, OEM. And so that's definitely gonna provide us with a lot of weight savings in addition to, of course, the X-pipe configuration, which is what gives you that exhaust note. So this is a super nice touch with sole badging here, uh, welded between the two X-pipe sections. 
you've got your valve components left and right. And so uh, I do have the factory valve system installed because I have PSC or Porsche Sport Exhaust. So I'm gonna be able to take advantage of the fact that I have that valve button up front in the car to close these down, which will give it a much uh, more muted, uh, muffled sound or open them wide up for spirited driving or you know those kinds of things. So uh, these are the valve components. And then you've got sections that are basically headed to the outlet and the inlet. So that's kind of what you see below. So these two sections here, are the uh, muffler inlets. And so these will interface um, with the current mufflers on the car. And they're gonna take the exhaust out of those and into the X pipe. And then these below that are the muffler outlet pipes left and right. So these will come out of the exhaust um, on the right side here, going this way. So they're gonna come out of here and they're gonna turn left and right. And then they're gonna connect all of those with these clamps that are supplied. So this couldn't be more kind of bolt on. I know a lot of people are hesitant to do their own exhaust. Um, you know, look, if your car, if you can't lift it, if you don't have quick jacks or lift, uh, you don't want to lay, you know, in a tight spot, I get it. But honestly, this thing's pretty simple to install yourself. Um, so do give it some consideration. This is literally all you're talking about. You got an X pipe, you got inlets and outlets, you've got clamps to put those on and easy instructions to follow, and then your tips. So on the tips, there are a few options. You can leave factory tips and those can interface right in here to the outlets. Uh, there actually is a modification to open the diameter of those up so that you get a wider opening to really kind of help create the sound and kind of the flow. Or you can order tips from an aftermarket third provider, although sizing and fitment can be a little bit tricky, or of course, Soul sells tips. So the three tip options that come with this particular valved exhaust for the 991 are a chrome, a black chrome, and a carbon fiber two-piece. I want to do something a little different. As uh, those of you know who've been following the build, the car is very much like muted black. The taillights are factory smoke. The wheels are satin, titanium. It's a dark gunmetal. And I really want the entire car to be pretty much sort of muted black. And then just the brake calipers and the seat belts in that Miami blue. So I reached out to the guys at Seoul. I said, hey, is there any possibility you guys could do some satin black tips to really go with kind of the satin look on the wheels and these kinds of things? And they said, let me look into it. Sure enough, they came back and said, no problem. We can send them out, have them custom finish for you. So big shout out to those guys for uh, helping me get the finish on these right. You know, black chrome could have worked, but again, I don't really have a lot of chrome or shininess on the car. And so these are gonna be perfect. So super nice job that they did on these tips. They had these coated, so these are the tips that they sell. So nice, big, wide outlet. So that's gonna give us lots of flow, lots of sound. Obviously the connection points in the back, but then as you can see, they sent these off to have these uh, coated in the satin black. So these look stellar. I really like the sort of motorsport, you know, kind of raw look that these tips have. Not too dissimilar to what you see on some of the GT cars. You know, again, not trying to be a GT car, but you know, I really do think kind of that like street cup performance, you know, whatever you want to call that look that I sort of am going for in this build, you know, that black satin in the rear, uh, it's got kind of a race motorsport feel. So stoked about those, but uh, that's the system. It's that simple. It's just those pieces and parts. So that concludes the tabletop. Next video we're going to do is a install DIY soup to nuts. I'm going to take you through every step, talk you through it. That way, if you want to do this to your car, you'll have an easy way to do it. So thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode when we get this thing on.